Welcome back to the Tiger Room Hangout. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with another video. This time I want to talk to you about Fans Toys Sheridan. This is their take on Warpath, and he looks pretty good. It's a good-looking figure. It's a bit of a mixed bag. I'm going to talk about the pluses and talk about the minuses, but overall, I think Fans Toys did a good job on this guy. I'm going to talk about all that coming up. I want to take a good look at this box here. Fans Toys boxes look like they look good. They would fit in really well with Takara boxes, but the, the, they're not copying the Takara box. Looks good all the way around. You can see on the back here what is going on. I am a box collector, so I do appreciate some good box art. There it goes. So here he is in his alt mode, in his tank mode, and it's a nice looking tank mode. It's a very solid looking tank. The paint, okay, I can see why people say it shouldn't be super reflective. It does look like more of what you'd see out of military tank, but I don't see red military tanks around here. And uh, that's just the way it is. I mean, I, I see green ones. I, I see them all the time. I see some uh, tan ones. I don't see red, burgundy, so. Anyway, it looks really good. Let's get into a closer look at this guy. So looking at the treads, they I was able to get them to line up pretty well. Still a bit of a gap right there. So uh, not a big deal to me though. I mean, the treads look good, shiny, a, a bit shiny. Uh, you do have some, like you can make the effect of it shooting with the, with the in and out on the gun. The barrel goes up and down and spins all around. That works. There's a lot of surface detail on this guy and that does look good. It does look, it looks really nice. I do think this lever mechanism is the only unsightly part, but then again, it's not the end of the world, but it does show part of the transformation in there. I mean, it, it's a good transformation. Uh, so it's pretty solid. I was able to get this relatively flat right here. Uh, looking at the back part here, this gap cover, I'm not 100% really sure how it's supposed to go, but it almost looks right. I don't know, do you think that looks right? Since it's it's aligned with these other silver pieces, but uh, I think if I redid, like, took this all out and redid the assembly, I could tuck it underneath. You can tuck it underneath this piece here. Maybe that's how it was supposed to go, but I like the way this looks. It also looks nice and clean on the bottom. I mean, it just cleans up all around. It's, it's a really good, solid all mode. It works, it gets the job done. Let's do a couple comparisons here. First comparison is to the G1. Now it is a more of a burgundy, and this is kind of like a more purpler red burgundy to it. And But it does have an homage. It, it definitely looks right. You've got the silvers here, the silvers here. It works. I mean, I guess I could put a sticker there and make that work. But yeah, it, it looks good, it does look really good and then it has, also has one more feature you could pop the head up and have the head exposed just like you can with the G1 figure that is kind of cool that's a little bit of fun what do you think I don't know if they did that on purpose or it was just ease of transformation the head's got to go somewhere it's almost creepy how like every you always see the picture of them going into the trailer <laughs> he fits he does fit you can close the door Everything fits in the trailer. Let's compare him to Fans Toys Blur. And here's the thing. I think that he's a bit short compared to Fans Toys Blur. Uh, Blur is a car and this is a tank. So he's kind of small, but if you... I think everybody likes the robot mode better uh, for the comparison size. So like the robot mode size matters the most. And with that, bring in Takara's Hot Rod. So. Yeah, I mean, it's just, he's, he's a bit small, but then again, he'd be a gigantic figure, uh, kind of like this, if you made the tank any bigger. Next up, I want to compare him to, uh, this is War Dog, and I've got to transform him, so let's transform him real quick. So first off, on transforming War Dog, you lift this up, you pull this back, and, nah, I'm just kidding. Alright, so let's get this guy transformed. First thing you want to do is flip these pieces here up and then we need to disconnect this part right here and we're going to get that disconnected and 
just kind of the reverse of how we connected it in the first place. Bring it back and get it a bit out of the way. I want to get the legs done first. So we're going to come up here and disconnect these tab pieces so that we can separate the legs. And then we need to, once it's all untabbed, you pull it down and then we reconnect it here so we can start making him into a robot with some legs. Okay. Hope I got all that on camera there. Okay, so we need to pull the foot down and get it out of the way. And then we're gonna open this piece here up. And then that's gonna help us maneuver around this tread. And then when we get the clearance for this tread, we can fold the tread away. Boom. And then we need to put the tread in, fold this around, but we need to lock the knee in. So let's see, let's get this on camera. Do not break the knee. You need to open this piece here. Come on. There's a little tab, that little tab opens up and then you bring the knee in and then close the tab and then the knee is solid. So that's like the biggest problem, making sure that knee is in there nice and solid. Okay, so moving back over here, this will tab into place here. And then you push that down. And as I push that down, this, this piece here, it's hard to, I don't know how people get this on camera as well, but I, that pushes in too. So we got a leg done and it's good. So we're gonna do it again over here. Hopefully I can get it all on camera a little bit better, but we're gonna to need to pull the, first thing I wanna do is pull the foot out. There we go. And then we need to rotate or untab this piece here so that we can rotate all this around. And then get this piece flipped back the way it goes. Gotta have the clearance. It's gotta clear everything. There, clears everything. And then we tuck it back in and fold this back up. But we're gonna have to lock it in with this tab. So I open the tab, let me see if it's focusing right. I open that tab, close it, close the leg, and then tab it in. Come on, you gotta go in there. There it is. It's, it's, I don't know, it's hard to get on camera. I don't know why I'm not able to see that I did it right on camera anyway. So we're going to tab this whole assembly right in here and push the foot down so it all pu pushes down and we are in the robot mode everything feels right you need to uh, fold the toe up on both sides knees in good shape okay so we're gonna have to raise this up a bit more so that we can see what's going on at the top here so with this we're going to separate this back piece so it's connected in a lot of ways. So just popping this up, popping this up, and then separating it, we can, we get the arms, oh, we can get the arms in the end here. And so we can lift this up and then we need to push this back piece back down through here. Hold on, we gotta get everything out of the way. There it is. Gotta get everything out of the way so you can push this back piece down through there and then we have to realign all these back parts and pieces so turn it this way turn this back in here fold up all of this good 
junk. Fold. Fold. And then this will go into here. And then we're going to pop his head up so that we can push this piece here out and get all this good stuff back uh, situated. So we want to form his chest, or I guess it's secondary chest. And there's his secondary chest. Let me readjust this. There it goes. It's all aligned just right. You need to adjust out the shoulder joint and then fold it up and over. And then we'll finish out the arm, pull it down, open this up. All right, let's get the other side here. We need to pull the shoulder piece out like so and then fold it up, fold it over, up and over, because there's like a small piece that gets in the way there. And then we're gonna pull the arm out, open up the hand and roll it over. This seems like it should be the easiest part, yet it's, it's kind of a challenge, actually. I'm having trouble with my hands. This little tab needs to line up just right back on it, but it's just not, this side worked. The other side I'm having some trouble with, but anyway, there he is. Let's take a look at him. So here he is in his robot mode, and he's got an interesting looking paint job. It's sort of a flat mat. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not what we're used to with fans toys and the reflective. I would have liked a more glossy reflective paint. That's just kind of what I'm used to from fans toys. More metallic. This is, this is more flat, like we were all talking about and we were concerned about. But let's look at the head here. So he does have... Uh, blue eyes and then and everything's just red. He's like all red with just a little bit of silver break up and gray to it. Okay, so the head moves side to side. You get some up and some down and all around. Uh, the shoulder, it's a bit limited. It is definitely a bit limited. You have, if you get in the right sweet spot, you can kind of take the shoulder out, but not all the way to the 90. If you move this joint around, you could get the right spot. And, and, I, and for posing, you just really, depending on what you want, uh, you have it down to make him look like he's looking good there. You can have it up and get a little bit more range to it. When it's down like this, you got almost no range. So it just depends on how you wanna do that. Okay, so you do have swivel at the bicep swivel. It's very limited. Okay, so the hands do swivel around and you do have some a little bit of opening. I don't know what he's gonna hold. He doesn't have a gun, so there's nothing to hold there. He does have the ab crunch. Ooh, come on, guy. Come on. There he goes with the ab crunch. And uh, it's just so tight. Everything's always so tight on this guy. And then if you lift the flaps up, you need to lift the flaps up to get some range. With the legs, you have a universal. You can take out to get your arm out of the way, dude. You can take that out past the 90 right there. And then front and back. And then the knee is a 90, but it's real tight. It's like really scary <laughs> moving this guy. Like I like tight, but when it's like, is it really supposed to go this far? Am I gonna break it? I know there's a lot of knee problems with this guy. Okay, so there's not a rotation in the knee. It's right here. And then you have ankle tilt and pivot. So you can get what you need out of that and then you know, I, I pondered making him taller by popping this down, but he, he, it makes him unstable. So, I mean, I just like him tall. I think he's tall enough. I think he'll work. Looking at the back, he is nice and clean. I do have a, I have a pass of 30, uh, the QC30. But I, 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 he has a little bit of breakup in the back, but he is overall really clean. A really clean figure so uh, I really don't have much complaints about his aesthetic I was wishing that they would have collapsed these would collapse more uh, if you can see from the side like maybe they can collapse and condense more I would have liked to see them maybe on the back of the shoulder but then again we're looking at animation so animation correct is it animation correct since he didn't get a gun he did get this mask and I'm sure there's other figures and you can make up that scene from that episode it actually looks pretty good it fits really well it, it 
Come on. Let's let's get that to focus in on there. But it looks good. I mean, it, they did a good job with it. It's just I'm never going to use it. Let's go ahead and get the comparison. This is Bad Q Fans Toys, and this is I, I don't know 2013 or something like that. The Generations version of Warpath. And so looking at all of this, you see a few things. First of all, I think Hasbro did a really good job on this in 2013. When you see side by side how they look, this guy looks pretty good. Now his all mode does not look good, but his bob mode looks good. This one I feel is just too bulky. I always felt that. I never understood why are they so bulky? Why was Bad Cube so bulky? This is very clean. Now we get into like, okay, so animation accuracy. Which one is more accurate for animation? And Fancy Toys kind of veered from 100% animation accuracy just to make it look good. I think it looks cool, it looks good, you know it's Warpath, but it's not dumpy. I mean, it's, it's the Warpath is kind of a dumpy looking character. He's, he just looks weird. And so for this, I think this does look pretty good. I think this works. Here he is compared to some Takara Carbot offerings, and what you notice is he's right about the same height. Right about the same height as the Carbot. He's a little bit taller than the average Carbot, but I th he's a little bit taller too, so right around the same height as him. And he fits in with the modern aesthetic better than the older aesthetic, but still, I think all this looks good. I mean, all this on a shelf is going to look great. It's just going to look awesome. Uh, his arms do appear to be a lot shorter than... Like, let's let's do a comparison of the arm length here, and the arm, well, it's about the same length. It just appears so much shorter. Maybe if you adjust this down, it'll look better. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, that does. Let's get in here with a bit of a mini bot comparison, and this is the X Transbots Neptune, which lightweight compared to this guy, but uh, and and a little flimsier, but looks outstanding just look at the look of this guy matches the look of this guy and i still think he looks good i mean I, I think i think this one looks good but it's so much smaller which bumblebee is supposed to be and this guy's supposed to be a mini bot uh, i don't know he feels like the right size to me i feel like he should be a little bigger than carbots well probably a lot bigger than carbots but he shouldn't be classified as a mini bot he never should have been so one co more comparison is him next to Final Victory, and I have to admit, he does blow Final Victory out of the water. Uh, Final Victory is not bad. He really isn't bad. It's just this lower leg section here. All right, put your skirt down, bro. Uh, this lower leg section, the feet, just the feet are just huge compared to his feet. And this is an oversimplified version, uh, a little bit extra engineering, and yeah, it goes a long way. Last of the comparisons, I promise, so what you can see is this paint glistens. This doesn't really glisten as much. The Takara paint really does glisten on the MP44. This one's kind of a flat, much flatter than Takara's. And then this is the G1 version, and it's just amazing how far we've come from G1 to now. It just blows my mind. Outstanding. This is the fans toys shared. He is a good looking figure, a good representation of this character. Uh, I think that Fans Toys did a good job. He's gonna look great on the shelf. I feel like he falls closer into the hot rod ballpark when it comes to articulation. I feel like that, that a little step lower on paint. I wish it was a metallic, shiny paint. That's what I like. But then again, the character, would this tank really have a shiny paint job? Probably not, but I would still like it. Also, with the articulation, uh, I wish these things would have collapsed in a little bit better. And uh, the, the, the knee problems people are having, uh, a little bit scary. A little bit scary, I haven't had it yet. But uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I don't have any problem with it. But Fancy Toys does offer a fix. There's a screw in there. Uh, you can get a fix for it. So anyway, uh, I like it. I mean, heck, I would recommend it if you don't have one. And I do like the look of this and the feel of this and everything over the bad cube. Even though the bad cube really wasn't that bad, I think this is so much better. Like, subscribe, for your hang around.